Hi, I'm Sandata, yet Villarreal Junior. Welcome to the Video Assisted Instruction Database Administration Series. And uh, here is the hands on on our lecture number four in week two. So, uh, our topics uh, for today in our hands on is the date function. The first one is the date function. The second one we have the set century. The third one is the as clause. And the fourth one or the last is the word clause. Now uh, let's begin. Before we go before we're going to start, make it sure that you have the 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 class list that we've uh, already uh, created on our lecture 3. So this is the continuation. So the first thing we're going to identify is that how does state function works in SQL. So let's move first in something like uh, in a command. You will notice in our working environment there is no such thing as uh, text or a series of strings. Now, if I'm going to type right here something like as uh, a date function, then I'm going to enter on that. There should be no display. But the date function which we use is considered to be correct because there is no error. Now, one thing uh, to make it sure that uh, the date function is not functioning is that uh, we forget the, the what is so called the string manipulation okay or the display to, to display the date right now on your current system which is uh, 8 41 p.m. 10 17 2020 what you need to do is to press question mark and afterwards you can type right now the date then after you finish that you can uh, press enter this thing and you will notice there's an output right here which is considered to be 10 17 20 okay that is uh, no October 17 uh, 2020 now the problem is uh, the what is so called the two digits we didn't identify since 2020 is uh, a double 20 so it is not clarified so to clarify the the 2020 is something like we need to use the set century okay so the set century identifies the the four digits of the the century or the year so for example uh, what is there right now uh, 2020 then the set century set 2020 to display on the screen so that is the difference between the two now let's uh, put up set century now set century considered to be off and that is the default the the off is something like uh, a display which we type already or displayed when we type the question mark date now uh, to make this uh, century uh, displayed we were, we're going to replace on okay uh, replacing off to on makes the century display okay so press enter then suddenly you can type uh, the date open and close parenthesis then what you need to do is to press enter so look at that so we have 10 17 20, 20. so we are finished now with the date function okay so our next topic uh, for today is the as clause so you will notice that what I've uh, discussed is something like an X base programming right now we're going to go directly to 
the SQL of the date. The SQL programming in a date function. Okay? So, in a date function. So, here is what you need to do. The first thing you're going to identify is that you have the what is so called table. So, we're going to open our table by typing select asterisk from uh, class list. So, our our table is class list. Asterisk is identification of those fields then it will display and plus is also an asterisk identifies also the the content or the source we have on the records okay just press enter and you will notice you are going to identify where to look at open look in and what we're going to look in of course the class is you can click the desktop you can go to the folder of class list then we have the table one and you can click it up now you will notice that there is a display which I've created the first uh, table okay uh, and it will display now you will not see here we have student number student name mobile number email DLVR mode is considered to be the table okay a field now but those are considered to be column now right here there is an arrow this is considered to be our rows so query is a combination of column and rows with a records okay so now what we're going to do is to display date something like on the record okay you will notice there is no date here but uh, what the SQL do is to make a date also okay so by, by, by using date what you need to do is something like select uh, you're going to type the uh, the column name to make it more uh, easy to understand uh, stood stood uh, number comma stood name comma mobile no comma email comma then we're going to adjust oh right here so dldr mode and then from uh, class list that's it so this is what you call this uh, distributed identifying and distributed of the uh, distributed part of the asterisk so just press enter table one click ok and it's the same so select asterisk from class list and select stud no, no comma stud name comma mobile low comma email comma delver mode space from space class list is the same as select asterisk from class list. now what we need to do is to insert date that is our that is our part now to insert date uh, something like we're going to put up uh, for example, so we have uh, stud number, stud name, we have the mobile number, email, the LVR mode, comma, then we can put up the date function. That's it. Okay? So date function from uh, class list. So we are finished with this. Then what we need to do is to press enter. Then you're going to select the table. Click OK. And there is a what do you call date right now. 10, 17, 20, 20. Why it is 
why it is uh, 10 17 2020 because it is our system date the sql get the date right here on the computer and put it in the query we have right now in a column name exp underscore so this exp underscore the date was being uh, shown but the problem is that we re we really don't know where this exp underscore six came from so what we need to do is to replace this exp underscore six so that uh, all uh, that uh, are going to display our programmers creation so let's move to to remove the exp underscore six so we have here on our topic is something like we're going to use the ask clause okay so we're going to use the ask clause now uh, to make that kind of uh, code so what you need to do is something like So right here, after the date function, what you need to do is to type as. Then in my example, I put up kita or ikaw from class list. That's it. So you will notice I there's a another clause here as a cow which I inserted after the date function so let's check out if the xp underscore 6 has been replaced so press enter go to the table and click ok that's it look at that so the the, the column name was been replaced by cow using the as clause okay the our last topic for today is about the the work clause okay so the work clause is something like a specifying selection criteria again specifying selection criteria so we're going to select uh, primarily on our record so that uh, it could be something like similar selection is you're going to look out for something and it should be similar because you are selecting of what you needed now uh, to use the work clause what you need to do is to uh, use also the same select a three from class list then we go to the table and there there goes the the former uh, query we have now how we're going to use the work command so work command uh, what you need to do is to use the identification select uh, we're going to type on the uh, stood now and stood name comma uh, sorry then from uh, class list why because it's too too long enough to exceed with the screen and in fact you 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 cannot even see the the decoding okay so that's why I'm, I'm making the identification only that we have only two fields they're going to display okay then press enter table so right here we have two fields which is stated in our select uh, SQL command now let's put up the work command so work command must be put up okay must be put up uh, specifying the work clause and this work command 
uh, is uh, something like you're going to specify uh, the character or a number in a different format so uh, so let's check out how we're going to use this uh, word command now uh, so I already we have already here uh, and it's been displayed so we can put up something like a word word where uh, stood name is equals to double code Villarreal double code now to make sure that uh, the the SQL coding is considered to be accurate I'm going to make this uh, record first a non-capital letter okay so Villarreal we have Villarreal here and this is lowercase and we have here uppercase so that we can check if uh, word command is working with the case uh, sensitivity of the records okay press enter table one look at that there is no display why because there is no uh, lowercase billarial but if we're going to replace this to a capital letter which is uh, recorded in the table so it needs to be displayed press enter double click there it goes so work command is something like uh, a selection or specifying selection or a criteria or criterion of a record okay so that is all for today's uh, lecture in hands-on hoping hoping you you learn uh, something new and don't forget to subscribe and uh, ring my bell so that every uh, every uh, video that uh, I'm going to upload you will be uh, giving uh, something like a remarks okay thank you very much that's all